how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. Without wasting too much of your time, let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick five reference points as shown. Select this four reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this reference plane. Select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Pick here. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Press tab to cycle the selection. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. OK. Select this reference point. Change the offset value to 500 millimeters. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Thickness. OK. OK. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Pick the reference point. Draw a circle. Then select the circle. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at the quadrant. Next. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Next. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Next, 
Select this three reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Materials and Finishes. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Pattern Finish. Select Instance. OK. OK. Repeat the process. Next, go to Graphic Display Options, select Wireframe, Dimensions, then select Set Work Plane, set this plane, select Diameter Dimension, then select the Circle, select the Dimension, then select New Parameter, select Instance, name it, Diameter, OK. Go to Family Types. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Attractor Divisor. Type of Parameter Select Integer. Let's group it under Dimensions. OK. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 10. And let's link the Diameter Parameter to the Attractor by adding the formula. Attractor Distance over Attractor Divisor. Change the thickness to 50 mm. Apply. OK. Select Hidden Line. Uncheck Shared. Then check Always Vertical. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Star Panel. Save the family. Next, open a new family and select Metric Generic Model Pattern Based. Open. Select Point Element, then select Set Work Plane. Set this plane, then pick Reference Point. Set Work Plane. Set this plane, then pick Reference Point. Select this two reference points. Go to Filter. Check None. Then check Reference Points. Change the Offset value to 500 mm. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Offset. OK. OK. Then select Spline Through Points. Then check his Reference Line. Select Point Element. Pick at this Reference Line. Then pick Reference Point. Change the Normalized Curve Parameter to point 0.1. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Name it. NCP. Select Instance. OK. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the Surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Go to U Grid Number and Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. U Grid. OK. OK. Go to V Grid Number and Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Name it. V Grid. Select Instance. OK. OK. Go back to Adaptive Star Panel Family. Load into Project and Close. 
Placement Plane. Select Level 1. Select Place on Face. Pick 4 nodes based on Adaptive Points Number of Adaptive Star Panel Family. Pick this reference point as a tractor point. Select the pattern. Materials and finishes. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Pattern finish. OK. OK. Attractor divisor. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor divisor. Select instance. OK. Thickness. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Thickness. Select instance. OK. OK. Then select the repeat. Perfect. Go to family types. Let's test the parameters. Change the NCP value to 0.5 and change the attractor divisor value to 5. Apply. Perfect. Change the V-grid and U-grid number to 20. Change the NCP value to 0.7. Change the attractor divisor value to 10. Apply. Perfect. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. Apply. Perfect. OK. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.